Well, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommending a new drug to protect children against RSV. RSV is the leading cause of hospitalization for infants and children in the U.S., sending between 58,000 and 80,000 to the ER each year. Now, doctors believe this drug could help lower that statistic. News 19's Mariah Wiggs is joining us live now with the details. Mariah. Yeah, Kelly and Steve, good morning to you both. The FDA approved the drug called Befortis, and the CDC officially recommended it late last week. Now, it's important to note here that this drug is not a vaccine. The FDA says it's a mono, monoclonal antibody that works by using lab-made proteins that mimic the immune system's ability to fight off harmful, path harmful pathogens like viruses. That process is different than how a vaccine works. With the new drug, the CDC recommends one dose for infants younger than eight months before the dur or during their first RSV season. RSV typically surges in the fall through spring months. It also recommends the drug to children between eight and 19 months who are at higher risk for severe RSV. The FDA approved the drug based off of three studies that showed it reduced the risk of RSV infection between 70 and 75 percent among infants and children younger than two years old. Dr. Wes Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health says parents should keep an eye out when it does come available. It's, uh, it's been shown to be very safe and, and, like I said, effective in clinical trials. And so uh, it's not available. It's not on the market yet, but it's expected to be possibly this fall. So parents need to be aware of it um, and be discussing it with their, um, their health care provider when it does come, become available. Now, at this time, the drug manufacturer AstraZeneca has not released any details on when or how it will be distributed other than it's expected to be available by the fall. The drug was approved to be fast tracked by the FDA. Now, while the FDA says this is not a vaccine, they do say it could make a big difference in the lives of children and those dealing or reducing cases of RSV. And back in May, the FDA did approve its first ever RSV vaccine, but that one was for people who were 60 years of age and older. Reporting live this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.